So I want to take a couple minutes here. We're getting ready to finish up a customer's custom rifle. And there's always this assumption, we're going to do a blog post on this and write some stuff about, but there's always this assumption that when you buy a really high-end quality stock that you don't have to bet it or you shouldn't have to bet it or you shouldn't need to bet it or, you know, it's one of those things that you sort of get out of jail free on. And this is a perfect example of, of just what we look for and why it's so important. So we get these questions all the time. We had five emails today about selling barreled actions, and we don't. And the reason being is this issue that happens right here and when we deliver a rifle, it has to perform. And without us being able to check the stock and work on it and, and do these little things to allow the rifle to shoot to its fullest abilities, there's always that potential that the customer puts it unknowingly into a stock that actually needed bedded and the rifle's not going to perform. And we just don't want that to happen. And it leaves us vulnerable to it. It leaves us tied to a product we didn't purchase. We don't know the history of it. All of these things happen. All right, so this is the Masterpiece Arms. And it's not a knock on Masterpiece Arms at all. They're incredible chassis for sure. Uh, we're just using this one as an example because it's just so obvious of what we find and things that we have to do. So when you look at this chassis here, this is a Bat Tactical Elite receiver and it's gonna need bedded. And what we're gonna show you is just how little contact is actually touching the receiver. So if you look at that little line there and you look at this little line here, you'll see that it's less than a pencil width. I mean, you've got less than 5% of the receiver touching anything in the chassis. Then if you look right in here, if it shows up on camera, it's touching hard here, hard here. It's not touching here. Now we could keep drawing it in tighter and tighter and try to draw that into contact, but you can already see it's touching hard here and here, and it's gonna have to compress that. Then this even gets better if you come back here. If you look, at how much and how little we're touching here. Nothing supporting the receiver underneath here. And you can actually bend and pull a receiver out of round by over tightening this area if it's not supported. Then look over on this side, how high up and how much farther back that line goes. We measured it. There's about a hundred thousandths difference in offset from where the receiver's touching on this side to this side. So it's riding up on the higher wall of the receiver here than here and again nothing else touching so really if you look at the entire footprint under the receiver you might have three percent metal contact and when you get into this part this is what's keeping the rifle from doing this so when you're getting ready to build a world-class rifle the only thing i can tell you to do is assumption is just a killer of of just what could have been and should have been an incredible rifle and an incredible experience this is a perfect example that we find on a lot of stocks and chassis. As a matter of fact, we just got back from visiting uh, Redstone Arsenal and we had some really lengthy conversations with people who were in the know, has been working on this stuff for 30, 35 years, and just the Cerakote issues that, that sometimes these things cause, and high spots, low spots, and how it touches the receiver, and why so many of the rifles need to be bedded. So it even gets much more further down the rabbit hole than this, but at a minimum, you're purchasing a $1,500 to $1,700 stock, and yet on the entire length of the bottom of the receiver, you've got a pencil width line barely touching a couple spots here and just a little here and here, and that's all the actual barreled action is setting in for a footprint. So this is a perfect example as to this rifle actually needs bedded and should be bedded, and it's just going to allow it to shoot to its fullest potential. And this is why it's a custom rifle as well. And just an example, because we were talking about this today, as to why we don't sell barreled actions. We just know that in the end, if we're going to deliver the customer the rifle as it's supposed to be, that this can create us as many issues as we've solved on actually making all the machine parts that we do. So we'll do a little blog post on our website. We'll have some nice pictures. We'll write a little article. Maybe we'll show some pictures of the finished work. This isn't a betting video, per se, but I thought it was a good example of things that we look for and something that might shock people as to what you find when you look.